Alright, check out the new Wakira Ladybird FPV setup. So, uh, pretty much it's very similar to the original Ladybird, except this is the V2, which has a few less little, you know, bells and whistles like the V1, but the V2 is very stable. You can see same shell, same frame, except for now it comes with the video transmitter and camera built in. You can see Wakira uses the TX5805 uh, video transmitter. I guess it's uh, short for. 5.8 gigahertz. I'm not even sure what 05 means, but this uh, video transmitter has eight selectable uh, channels, so you can switch from uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth channel depending on where you're flying and who you're flying with. You can see the video unit; it's built right into the camera, and it's just pretty much that's just all to it. Uh, similar to the original Ladybird, battery fits on the battery tray. You got the rubber balls down here, so when you're going for a landing. It's not as hard, and also the rubber ball adds a little bit of space so the camera doesn't touch the ground when you land. Now, you guys are wondering, how is this hooked up? Uh, pretty, very, very easy. The camera just hooks up to the extra port right over here. I believe on the V2, these two extra ports, uh, like the V1 was not soldered on, but for the FPV one, there is a... Uh, uh, connector already installed or uh, soldered on from the factory. You can see here, very similar, exactly just like the V2, except you got the camera set up. So it's very cool. So instead of doing your normal review of showing this thing fly, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys already know how awesome the Ladybird uh, flies. It's one of my favorite quad choppers of all times. So it's just it's tiny and it flies good. So instead of uh, you know showing you guys flying this one, I'm gonna show you guys how everything looks through the screen. So let me turn on. Our transmitter, plug in the battery, and wait for everything to bind. So at the same time we're doing this, I'm gonna just focus on the screen itself, and you can see, oh, not even in a setup yet. So very simple. Let me go into the video menu over here and change down. Oh, sorry, channel, and I believe it's channel one that comes up preset. Alright, so here we go. So right now all you see is the table, but you can see the quality with this camera is very good for indoor flying. It does look a little bit darker through the phone, but if you're looking at the actual screen itself, it's very, very nice. Um, I was able to fly this one outside and I got a pretty good amount of distance with it. I flew, I believe, from one door to the other door at, uh, at my office or at my uh, work office. It was about 200 feet, which is pretty impressive for a uh, small little 5.8 gigahertz, you know, video transmitter. So, not complaining. I'm not sure on the exact milliwatts of the quad chopper itself. So, let me center out the trim. I have my trim for my whole 10x. So, let me bring it up. The higher you guys can see a tour of my house, you know. Flying FPV is actually pretty cool. It's actually harder than it looks, so it's not easy at all. So, once again, uh, the range, I, the first that I took it out was about 200 feet. And if you guys have flown the Ladybird, anything more than 100 feet actually gets really, really far because this Ladybird is very, very tiny and it's just, it's hard to see when you're that far, but good thing it has a camera. And the range was, you know, really good, decent. The video quality was good, except when you're flying outside in bright uh, sunlight. The video does look a little bit different on the screen. It's, I think it's a little bit uh, overexposed. So I guess this camera is good for a low light condition because uh, it's more of a, uh, it has more of, how would you call it? I would call it like the low lux. So you can fly it in, you know, different conditions like evening flying and indoor flying. So you guys can see there flying it. The camera is pointed down a little bit and the camera is adjustable but it's not as adjustable as you think it is. You, you have to use a little bit of tape or some, something to hold the camera up or else it does point down a little bit and it makes flying and your depth perception a little bit harder to see. So let me attempt to fly this through the garage and back in. So look at the screen, <laughs> FPV is really hard. So right now, I'm past my garage. I have no idea, I can't even see it anymore. Oh, too high, too high. Woohoo! 
This is a tough little cookie to fly. Oh, hit the roof there. <laughs> you can see I'm flying through the wall. I'm in my garage right now. And the video transmission is not... Oh, I just fell. So right, I'll be right back, guys. So I kind of lost it. I think I stuck it in the garage somewhere. All right, you guys just saw the little quick crash there. I crashed into the railing of the garage door. So <laughs> that's the bad thing about having a camera pointed down so much where it's just as hard to see. Ooh, is this little thing hard to fly back to the door because I can't see it? All right, you know what? I'll just walk it back inside because FPV flying is actually really hard. So. Yeah, uh, one thing about this one is you can't really record the flight footage. So you can see right now, I have the screen pointing the camera around. You can't really record the flight footage uh, with the memory card because there is no memory card set up on here. But I would say if you have your own uh, video receiver, you can hook it up to your one of your DVRs and get it working again. You can see it does have... Uh, exposure settings on here so it does if it's too dark it get the screen gets bright if it's too bright the screen does get dark a little bit which I did, which I just noticed pretty cool let me try to get the screen a little bit closer for you guys uh, the, the Devo or Devo F7 does have a little bit of uh, some protection from the sun so when you're flying outside you know without the shade uh, protector over here to block the glare the screen can get a little hard to see, but that's why they have a little shade right here, shade screen. You can see my son's little push toy over there. He had that toy for about, nah, I'll say two weeks, and after the two weeks, he was walking left and right. He's running all over the house now. You can see his high chair where we feed him. So come back around. It's really hard to fly FPV, so it looks easy, but it's <laughs> it's it's tough. I wish the screen, the lens were more of a wide angle, so you can get more of a perception of where you're flying. But I talked to uh, Wakira, and I believe they said the wide angle lens wasn't available at the time. So maybe in the future they might do it. They, they might be able to get to incorporate it with the camera design. But for right now in the production, for the first few. It's just going to be the regular uh, normal normal lens on here. You can see quality is actually very clear. I'm not wearing a shirt, just wearing a tank top because I'm inside my house. <laughs> Let's see, flying around some more. Flight time is actually pretty much the same as I would say the other Ladybird. Maybe a minute less, not too much less, but the video transmitter, I haven't took it off to weigh it, but it's not that heavy at all. It comes with a one cell 350 milliamp battery. Comes with the same accessories. You get the USB charger. You can charge two batteries at once. Uh, you get extra propellers. You get the plastic Phillips uh, or plastic flight head screwdriver. You can see. Very cool. I'm pretty sure if I fly it around a few more times, I can master it and get more used or get used to the FPV style flying. We go back on the table and land it. Oh, battery just got low right there. So I would say it's about, uh, video is about nine minutes long right now. And I'll probably start it flying after two minutes. So it's about seven minutes of flight time, not too bad. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, kind of quick slash long flight footage with the new Wakira 5805 video transmitter. So yeah, if you guys want to see some more flying, some more review of certain items, just let me know. Feel free to ask. Leave a comment in the comment box below. So there you go, guys. Uh, once again, hope you guys enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.